Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you a cool technique how to make hand draw text animation in Apple style. If you watched the iPad mini presentation you could see this animation, this style and today I'm going to show you how to achieve this result inside of After Effects. You may think that it's easy to achieve this result, you can use uh, stroke and apply gradient but unfortunately gradient doesn't work this way. You cannot follow along the spline Therefore, we will use cool free plugin called Thick Stroke. You can find the link in the description area. And if you're ready, let's get started. Right, I'm in After Effects. And first of all, we need to import a reference image. In my case, I use, I use this text from Apple's website. You can just go to Apple website and iPad mini. And here you can find some good examples. For example, design, powerful, download, camera and so on. Or if you want your custom text, you can go to Google Fonts. It's a free website. And here in categories, you have to leave only handwriting. And for my taste, I think Pacifico works the best. You can download it, it's absolutely free. And type your text here. And now I will show you what we're gonna do next. As you probably know, we cannot use a simple stroke effect. If I use a stroke, for example, and start drawing, make it a little bit bigger. And in stroke, if I change from fill to linear gradient, for example, it works in a different way in a linear. No matter how you're gonna change this line and this path, no matter what, you will have this linear or radial gradient. Therefore, we have to use a free plugin called Thick Stroke. It's super easy to install and after installation all we need to do is to create new solid. Let's name it, I'm gonna use first letter of uh, our word, in my case it's letter C. Color you can leave it as default, press OK. And I'm going to turn it off for now. And in effects and preset you need to find this effect, thick stroke, and apply it on our solid here. All right, so this effect works with the masks. Therefore, we need to break this word into separate pieces. I think I will make it C, then it's gonna be O, then this uh, U kind of sounds to make it A, then it's gonna be M, E and R. This piece, like this, uh, this sounds of R, then this R line, after this is gonna be O, then J reversed, and dot. All right, so let's start with the letter C. Let's select solid, then I grab pen tool, and start drawing. I start with the first point, second, like so. Then if I turn on this layer, nothing really going on because we need to go to this effect in effect control select this thick stroke and in a mask we have to set up our mask one and now we have our stroke which is already good all right uh, let's walk through main settings here and set up everything for our scene and here we can uh, force path open to if we have for example circle to have it open then uh, with controls it's uh, the most important for me and we have different modes start to end and uh, vertex feather i use start to end and uh, we can set up the beginning with and uh, and the end and in my case it's gonna be similar both gonna be 50 but maybe i need to decrease about 40 40 here and 40 here, okay? And one more cool thing that we can multiply those values and we can increase or decrease those values simultaneously. Okay, then we have style, we can, uh, we can choose different caps. For example, we can make it butt to make it uh, more sharp. I will leave it as round. And we have different uh, methods of interpolation, smooth or linear. So actually, I don't know what's the real difference here. You can experiment. Maybe it's gonna work for you, but I leave it as linear. Then we have 
different color modes. Right now we have gradient with the two colors. We can switch to solid, we can switch to three colors or four. Depends on your situation. But for this letter I'm gonna leave two. But maybe in another variant, for example M, E, R, I will use three colors. But we'll see. Okay, let's select color first. I will hide this layer for now and with eyedropper tool and start with the first color and second not a big difference maybe slightly more orange but not a big deal okay then we have cycle for example if i change this color to more contrast and i can play with the cycle and what's good we can turn off loop and we can increase or decrease amount of each color which is really good I will undo this. Also we can swap colors, we can change those two colors. Also we can do reverse, which is good. If you have overlay of uh, path in your mask, you can choose which gonna be on top, which gonna be bottom. And then we have trim passes and here we're gonna set up our animation. Okay, let's move forward, for example, 20 frames. I'm gonna set end keyframe, going back and it's gonna be zero. I will turn off our reference image and now we have animation. Okay, it's a bit choppy and boring but we will fix it later. But at least we have animation for now. Then we have offset to make our animation more interesting so we can play with those values. And what's really cool in this plugin that we have influences and what it does it can change and what it does you can select what parameter this animation can influence. For example we can play with the color. I will switch to something more bright one more time and if I select color you can see that colors change during the animation and it makes more interesting look. Also we can play with the width if I make it smaller. Now you see that our path grows during the animation cycle and you can use both width and color. Uh, for this case I will use only color and I'm going back to 40 here and quality is nothing really important here you can play with those settings if you have some problems with the borders and so on we set up our first letter and we have animation I don't do this uh, precisely and letter is not so perfect but I do this only for tutorial purpose probably if it's gonna be a real project I will spend more time on each letter but for now I think it's fine Let's bring our color back like this. Then I will duplicate this layer and, and I will rename it as O. Then I need to delete mask and I will draw another letter. It's gonna be O, like so. Then we go to mask and select mask one. Okay, here we can tweak our path a bit like so and here I see that we can play with the cycle and here I can uh, uncheck loop color turn off this layer for now and select two colors this one and this probably this one okay so let's enable it again and I want to and here I can play a bit with the cycle probably loop color and I will leave it like this for now okay i like everything set up then i will duplicate it again and i rename it as u but actually it's just a sounds of a then i will delete this mask okay and i will select two colors this one and this all right and i will draw u Then I select mask 1 and I have the suns, OK. And what's good is that we can tweak everything even after animation. We can go back and change something if we really want it. And yeah, we work with masks. OK, so I will show you one more letter here because it's going to be long mask. So I delete, I duplicate it and I'm going to rename it as M, E and let's name it as uh, this okay and i will draw this m letter okay. 
okay like this all right then i go to mask and uh, i will select mask one perfect we can adjust everything to make it more close to our reference image like this and it looks nice yeah probably i can adjust it but i'm going to leave it as it is and here in a color i will change from two to three because we have different length and i will turn off this layer for now and let's select our first color then this one and the last one this uh, red bright red color okay let's turn it on and we have close result for our reference image i will solo this layer and i told you about uh, reverse draw order if i turn it on you see that so this line this intersection this line is is going to be on top otherwise it's going to be um, before and we have this animation as well okay i will continue with the, those elements and i will back when i'm done okay i'm done and the last one i i need to make this dot to do this i will use ellipse tool and let's draw this circle i will remove stroke and i will use fill i will make it a little bit bigger like this okay perfect and one more thing that i need to to center my anchor point i will use anchor point tool and by holding control i can center it it snaps to center or to sides okay so perfect we have this nice image of course it's not so smooth and not so good as uh, our reference image but we can tweak it if if you want but for this case i will leave it as it is and now we need to select all our layers and press u to see all our animation and right now each layer has only 20 frames to to reveal each letter gonna be revealed after 20 frames and it's fine for most letter except this m e and r because this layer has three letters and this means that we need to increase this uh, duration and extend our keyframes a bit so let's make it longer like this and and what we need to do now is to shift each layer to have a hand draw effect so we start with c is gonna be our first layer then o so when c is already appeared it's gonna be o then it's gonna be u like this then it's gonna be m e r like so then it's gonna be this line one more o and one more and let's animate this dot i will use simple scale animation press s key first keyframe move it forward and set up as zero let's make it f9 so for this case i'm not going to use f9 to easy ease each letter i will do this only for the beginning f9 and for the end let's preview and actually now it's super boring everything draws super slow let's place this uh, guy here okay right now it's super boring and we can adjust it so to do this i select all our layers i will delete reference we don't need it anymore let's select all layers and make a pre-compose i call it letters okay and then i go to right click time enable timer mapping and i need to find where animation is done it's gonna be somewhere here okay i set up keyframe here and i need to select our two keyframes uh, the last one and uh, this one and shift it back like so and uh, then i will select our mid keyframe going to graph editor 
and I will use it easy in and here easy out and let's make it more dynamic here and let's preview and we have this cool effect it looks much better than it was before here but also we can adjust speed here also let's open graph editor and make it more uh, like a contrast let's go back to camera and I did same steps for other animations that you've seen on a preview so it has the same structure I separated each letter into into the piece and animated as well and then I did pre-compose and played with the dynamic as well so actually that's it you can play with this plugin more and achieve some different results but the idea is still the same I hope you find this video useful and thank you guys for watching if you find this video useful please don't hesitate to smash like button and leave some comments in the comment section thank you guys for watching and see you next time peace